Uh, Anna, of course, has trouble with everything. There we go. Okay. Wait. <laughs> but still tangled on the other side. You can't do this stuff to me. And I'm very excited because it's my first box ever and I'm going to get into the whole explaining what it is but first let's talk about Owl Crate for just a, like a, a few seconds not even a minute um, basically I am not doing an Owl Crate subscription box anymore because it just costs way too much money um, especially being in college right now so this is about half the price of an owl crate unboxing of course you don't get a book in it but instead you get about three to five different types of fandom jewelry um, there's a fandom for each uh, month and you never know what fandom it's going to be until you open the box or if you're like me who gets spoiled before but it's fine because I still don't know what the actual jewelry in this is so it's all good anyway so that's basically what fandom of the month club unboxing is I kind of explained it during Owl Crate, which, okay, yeah, sure. Um, anyway, so I don't have an unboxing for the last Owl Crate that I got. I believe that was for the month of December, though. This is the Phantom of the Month box for the month of January. I got a whole zip code complication thing that happened where I accidentally put the wrong numbers for my zip code. So I had to wait about a week or so after January so like I, I had to wait and I had to wait an extra week because I had to resend the box but I finally got it today and I'm so excited to open it um so yeah let's just begin so when you open the box one thing I love about Phantom of the Month is there are no worms um so you get a card that shows the Phantom and this month is Star Wars or last month was Star Wars and it's it's so cute you get another card and then it's got like all the information and stuff on the back of the card. And then you get a magnet, which I think is really cool. Um, so you have Princess Leia, because it's Star Wars. And it's like one of those faceless ones. I don't know what they're called, but it's like one without a detail. Um, and instead of worms, you get this nice tissue paper. See, nothing, no worms in the box. So, very excited. And, um, oh, they changed their bags. Um, they used to have a drawstring bag. Um, now they got zipper bags, which I think actually is really cool. Look, it says hashtag squad. I really wanted a drawstring bag, but who knows? Maybe they'll... Maybe I can get, like, one of the pass boxes at some point, but obviously not now. But, yeah, and then the jewelry is inside, so I'm gonna unzip it. This is so sad. Ooh, there are about four pieces. Cool. Okay, so the first thing that I see is this bracelet. Oh, it's like one of those belt bracelets. So the buckle is, the force is strong with this one. Can you, can you see that? I hope so. There you go. Um, basically it's one of those like where you wrap it around. And I think it might actually go through here. No, no it doesn't. Um, it's kind of like, that I guess <laughs> yeah which is a really bad explanation but that's cool I've never worn this style so I don't really know how it works maybe one of you guys can help me out I got it I think that's really cute I've never had that style before that's that's cute I like it it's cool um up next is ooh, yes okay so these are if I can get it I'm done um, they're so cute. These are Death Star earrings. They're so cute. Now, I just got into Star Wars, um, this summer, I believe. They're so cute. I normally don't wear earrings, but I think I'm gonna have to wear these more often. That looks really cute. I like it. Adorable. Um, up next, ooh, a necklace. 
See, necklaces are my thing, if you can tell. Um, oh, I saw this on their Instagram uh, page. Okay, so this is, it says Jedi, and, ooh, they have nice chains as well. Um, let me see, it's kind of all tangled, but I'm gonna fix it. Um, so, it says Jedi, and it's in gold, and it's got this cute little green gem, because you know Jedis have green. This is awesome! Oh, it's one of those necklaces you can just slip over your head, because it's so long. That is great. I love that length of chain. That's awesome. That's so cute. All Star Wars out. Awesome. Um, ooh, and a ring is the last thing I see. I don't wear rings. Ever. Um, I may have to start though, because I know that Fan of the Month usually has a ring every single time. Oh, this is cute. It's, um, what do they call it? I think five fighters? I'm not really sure what they're called. Please put in the comments below if you know what they're called. But it's it's the little <laughs> satellite ship things that they fight in. I don't really know. I'm afraid to put this on though. That's cute. I don't I don't wear rings, but I may have to start because this is really cute. And I feel like not everyone would know what it is. Which I love that about fandom of the month. Usually, um, unless it's stuff like this, um, they can be really like, you know. Um, they can be really subtle with the way they put the fandom in the jewelry. I know that they have like certain things like for Wizard of Oz they have like this golden cuff which is brick um, engraved brick on the outside and then on the inside it says follow the yellow brick road but for those who don't know about Wizard of Oz which is weird if you don't know about Wizard of Oz um, won't see that part they'll just see the brick and be like oh that's a cute bracelet it's gold it's cute um, but yeah, I, I really like this, especially. And I love these. These are probably my favorite. Because I, I don't wear earrings that much. Um, the bag is adorable as well. I'm so happy. And it has BB-8. That, that makes me happy. Hashtag the droid squad. I am so happy that I finally subscribed to this box. I've been, mean, I've been meaning to for a while, but I had already done Owl Crate, and I was like, I'm not paying for two boxes at the same time. So, I'm glad I made the, the um, decision. Of course, if you are able to afford it every month, like me, go and do Owl Crate. Owl Crate is great. You get bookish stuff along with a book. It's great. Um, this, on the other hand, is $13 with, depending on where you live, I think for the U.S., um... With shipping included, it's 15 so it's still half of what Owlcrate pays. Um, yeah, I, I really like this more. I'm so happy. Um, but, yeah, so if you're like me, who is in college, who can't really afford Owlcrate right now, this is a good decision. Definitely good. And um, you can cancel at any time. You can even skip months and, uh, and stuff, which is what I did for Owlcrate for a while, but... It just it got to be too much. I was too tempted to not want to skip. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this Fan of the Month Club unboxing. I'm glad you enjoyed it, or I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Um, I'm going to try to keep, try to keep, I'm going to try to put their link down in the description so you can go look at their, their uh, Instagram and their actual website, which is really cool. Um... Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye!